So anyway, Missourian Height. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is um, an interesting stage because it's more platform puzzle focused than it, than the uh, than Apatos, and it's probably one of my least favorite night stages. But I don't mind it too much. Like, I don't dislike the stage or anything. Um, I do think it's a nice change of pace, being more puzzle focused uh, and whatnot. And yeah, it's, it's a quite a bit slow. It's a bit more slow paced than the Abatos one, which basic was basically just a bunch of linear hallways, um, just telling you how the showing you like general mechanics and whatnot. Um, and I think it did it. I think it did that fairly well. Nothing too complicated. Um, whereas in this, we're introduced to a bit more uh, puzzle solving elements like the shit. The um, what is it? The the um, buttons here. That you throw you throw enemies at these switches. Um, have the battle theme play when I'm just picking up an enemy. Um, so yeah, this is kind of cool. I don't think it's really used in other stages, which is kind of weird. I could be wrong. So I guess we'll find out as we play through more of the game here. But yeah, I. I kind of like that, you just... It's nothing... Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but... It's a... Nice little thing, I guess! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, just doing a little bit of exploration. I did... Miss a medal up there, I saw, so... And again, like... The... Yeah, this is because um, I'm like taking my time to explore and get everything. Then, yeah, this is gonna take a, this is gonna take longer than normal. Um, and again, I prefer the holistic experience when playing Unleashed. Um, so I, I don't mind collecting the items. Um, I find that to be one of the funnest as aspects of the game. Personally, I know a lot of people hate the Sun and Moon medals, but I don't know, I, I really like it, like, the fact, well, the fact that I'm, I grew up with, like, Banjo-Kazooie uh, is a clear reason why, but, yeah, I just like seeing, this saying is used a lot, but, like, a laundry list of collectibles, um, like, you see the, you see the number of medals in a stage, and it's, and I'm just like, ooh, I get, I get to, uh, search around this stage for this many collectibles, for the for the medals specifically. Um, and the fact that there's a ton of the medals, uh, there's a ton of medals, as well as just your, your normal pickups um, that are like in the Wii version where you see, um, what is it, the VHS tapes and that kind of garbage. Um, the fact that you can find that stuff in stages as well means that there's going to be even more collectibles to find in stages than there are in, in the Wii version, and I don't know, I just really like that. I, I like exploring for collectibles. It never really bothered me that you need to find enough medals to unlock certain stages. Um, well, obviously, I, I will, I will um, say that it's not the best way to handle um, stage progression in the Sonic game. And I will, I will admit that it's pretty bad in that in that sense. But if I'm si like if I'm speaking personally, I actually kind of like it because again I enjoy exploring. Getting the medals just feels rewarding uh, in and of itself. And the fact that it gives you like we got all the we just got the last medal there. Like the fact that um, it tells you how many medals there are. Um, just, I don't know, I, I just find that kind of exciting, and just, um, what should I call it? Uh, I find it gratifying uh, looking for, looking for them in this game. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I, I just like it, I don't know what else to say. Um, but I know a lot of people disagree with me on that, and that's fine. Uh, I, 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 again, I get it, I, I get why people don't like um, 
the um, medals. And I, I will agree that um, if we're talk, if we're just talking, um, was it objectively, whatever the hell that means nowadays, um, then yeah, I the Wii version does handle it better. Um, again, thinking for myself, I like how it, how this version does it. But I know that I know I'm the, the minority in that, so. Yeah, I, I will I will admit to that, that not everyone's gonna think that way, but, you know, that's fine. Because, again, this is my favourite Sonic game, um, but I will admit that it's not perfect, and some people aren't gonna see things the way I do, um, and that's totally fine. Uh, I get, I get what, I get why people, um, are more mixed on the game, but, once again, I also have to think about how I feel about it, and that's just honestly how I feel. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I I, I don't wanna. I I don't like um thing like saying or like thinking a certain way just because that's the normal uh, viewpoint or whatever. Um, I I wanna stay true to how I feel, and the way I feel is that I. Not the, I love the metal system, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what else to say. But yeah, well, I... My pro okay, my problem... I will say this, and this is not a knock against this game specifically, this is just a problem with beam up games in general, um, for me, is that when I play a new file, I always forget what moves I don't have. Like, oh, I, like this is a thing in like Kingdom Hearts as, as well, uh, where <laughs> I, I start from the I go back to the beginning of the game, and then I just I don't have stuff like magnet burst and whatnot, and I just feel so naked without them, and I just keep forgetting I don't have them, and like I I just don't remember what moves I have. But like, obviously it's more um, annoying in BMS like this because you have such a massive move pool. Oh, okay, <laughs> I guess I'm not getting that experience. And, um, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, e it's easy for me to just forget. So let's just get some combat upgrades. Um, get ring energy up a little bit. Um, go strength. Okay. That went pretty well. I wasn't expecting to go on a massive run about um, uh, the current state of the franchise, but there you go. But yes, please, <laughs> say, Sega, to market your fr market this franchise better. Like, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna take a while to release the next major game, at the very least, do ports of um, of like previous games. Like people are hungry for adventure at the moment, so like, I like do ports for the Switch or something. Um, get Heroes over. Get a PC port of un of this game, like Unleash HD. <laughs> like you can you can do all this stuff to keep that like tide people over, and they're just not bothering with any of it. Like it's it's not as not it's nowhere near as much effort as having to make a new game entirely, and that it's just gonna screw it's just gonna spill money at uh, that's just gonna spill money at them like <laughs> it's not, they have nothing to lose I don't know why they don't do it <laughs> regardless of search we got the professor back so let's get out of here before Eggman's welcoming committee shows up. Oh, yes, quite. But let us be it's very, <laughs> it's very interesting doing solo comms. Like, I don't do this stuff a lot nowadays, but... Solo comms is... are really interesting because... I kinda just... My mouth just kinda works on its own, and... The... Conversation just kinda... Flows into whatever I... Can I, whatever <laughs> comes to mind that's relevant. It's kind of interesting, um, like the contrast between this and uh, group stuff. Because you, you have to rely on just yourself for this.
Whereas like a group, you can just you can work off each other and just. Well, I, I don't. I can't speak for everyone, but I like to do it. I like to do group comms in the same way I would just like talking to fr like to said friends These on Discord normally. Um, and it just. I don't know, it just makes it feel more, more relaxing. Some tens of thousands of years ago. A disaster. <clears throat> Quite, and according to the Gaia manuscripts, this isn't the first time the planet has been broken apart into pieces. <gasps> the cause lies at the very core of the planet. All the phenomena we've witnessed are the direct result of one creature. The hyper-energy organism spawned at the planet's uh. core, Dark Gaia. <laughs> Again, man, I love how Chip is just in these cut in, in these uh, story uh, relevant cutscenes, and he's just put being a goof in the background. <laughs> Look at that! The cut, the um, sound effects help. Also, I was wrong. Oops. Um, the, the, do 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 what, this cutscene theme here, um, yeah, it's used, it's used for, um, the times you talk to, yeah, I like the little, <laughs> I like the little T sound, sound effect, um, but yeah, it, what was I saying, like, the, the music you heard in that cutscene, um, they, basically just play like a, a like two second loop of that for the Wii versions um like um cut hub world menu crap for the professor which is kind of interesting um so yeah uh where are you going let's find that temple uh well first off let's find those sun medals and yeah I'm not switching back because in the Wii version it just goes back to the it, it just goes right back to the um what is it the uh I, I can't think <laughs> it, it just goes right back to the um hub world I believe and even if it doesn't uh I yeah <laughs> I, I don't know why it wouldn't so yeah, just gonna explore, find some metals, have Chip get stuck in invisible walls, um, and it'll be good. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys doing good? Good. Meat! Oh no! Okay, now shops are available. Okay, so these are uh, cool little things. So yeah, rings are act like actually currency in this game, same as the like, uh, 06. Um, so you can get a bunch of souvenirs for the professor. Um, that will I I think it, he'll give you like some medals and other stuff, other such things um, if you do that. Can I not? Okay, I. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so used to Symphonia now, where you can just go to, you can just get like a bunch of stuff, or like buy everything in one, uh, one fell swoop, and it's really weird going back to a system that doesn't do that. Yeah. Okay, I should probably stop getting two. Can juice. Yeah, you can get a bunch of stuff in these shops. And I think that's all we can really get. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, the food here, we just go to inventory. And we can give, either give it to Sonic or Chip. If you give it to Sonic, you'll get some extra experience points. Um, and... It, the amount depends on what you eat. 
Uh, and you get if you give it to Chip, he'll comment on it. So it's, it's kind of it's it's pretty cool. Five XP. <laughs> no, he doesn't like the chili dogs. Yeah, chili dogs um, are like are the best um, thing to, are the best uh, food to get uh, get for experience. That's that are like in the shops. Um, there are like the hot dog missions that gives you um, a more a lot more XP, but you have to do actual missions for that. So. <laughs> All right, then. Well, got another, another, um, culprit of the, um, spirit plague, or whatever you want to call it. Another one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so all right, um, still missing two medals. Don't remember where they are. Am I just blind or something? Wait, there's a... I haven't gone to the back alley area. There should be one here. Hey. Oh god. I'm sorry, it's been a while. There's one. And the other, the last one should be around here, right? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't see it. Metal. Where are ye? Probably gonna have to do a jump cut. It's kind of sad because it really shouldn't be that hard to find this. Where is this thing? Wait, what the heck? Yeah, I'm definitely missing one more. Yeah, I find that temple as soon as I find this medal. Cause the the question of the ages. Okay, of course. <laughs> Good. Fine, I'll talk to the others. Yeah. Yep. They're not really saying much of the worth. No. 
Let's see. back with the Wii version and we aren't actually going to go to Missouri like the game wants us to. We're going we're to go back uh, to Arpatos to do some extra missions that we just added. Now one thing you can do is just go back to the Gaia Gate and then go through like the uh, day and night doors um, and it'll just go through the list of extra the stages that you unlocked or you can just go through the stage select like normal and just select the extra missions there. So yeah, like I said, I want to I want to try and get through as many of the extra stuff as possible, uh, which means we're going to revisit areas um, semi-frequently. Like When we get like new stuff there, um, we will go back and get some, get some of those extra missions done. Um, and they usually have like some random requirement. This one Obviously, as you could, as it tells you, as I said, like we basically just have to get through this last area of the stage and not die like that. Not my best one. Okay, let's try that again. So I didn't. The quick step didn't go as far as I would have liked, but that's fine. It's been a while since I've done any of these side challenges, so. It's definitely going to be interesting. Um, it's, it's good side content. Um, what, no matter what version of uh, version of Unleashed you get, yeah, you're going to get a lot of. Um, um, you're going to get your money's worth because the main game itself is already a decent, uh, a decent length adventure. But if you're trying to go for completion stuff, um, you're going to be at it for a while because this game. Again, either version you play, um, this game takes a while to complete. Um, so, yeah, if you're, if you're a completionist, you're gonna have your work cut out for you. Okay. Right, just, if we just kill this guy, then we'll, maybe we'll find him dandy. Yep, okay. We basically won at this point. Can I just say again, I love the music in this game. <laughs> yeah, just same door as usual, just boost to the end. We've seen this uh, song and dance before. Sweet. It is worth noting that every regular mission you you only get one medal for, um, which I guess is why there are so many like. So many of those, like one-off missions or like the like, tutorial missions, because they need like a bunch of extra sun and moon medals. Uh, I mean, I guess, but I still don't like it. I, do, I still don't like that method. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of like extra um, t warehawk tutorials, so I guess we'll just work through those. I guess, I guess, so I guess the silver lining to all the tutorials is that you do get a bunch of extra medals for them. So, this nice, I guess. Okay, so this is just asking me to do this. But I didn't even hit them! Good. Yeah, I just need 20 more points and I get something. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit annoying just constantly going back to this every time. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go to the Gaia Gate specifically because I think it will just keep make. I think it's going to just automatically 
send me to the next uh, mission every time. Hopefully that works. Make oh, okay. <laughs> Makes this uh, more convenient. Okay, we get we can go through um, one of the secret one of the secret doors, secret doors, secret doors. Um, <laughs> after we're done with this. Can't wait to show what those are like, because that th those are one of my favorite um, exclu like exclusive things to the Wii version. Wait, what? What, what am I doing? Like this? Okay. <laughs> Aww. Give me my points. Yeah, I am gonna be going back to Apertus for the HD one as well. So, yeah, if if I have if I backtrack in Once one version, I'm most likely gonna do it for the other version, unless there's just nothing there. Okay, so let's. Uh, I wanna kill some kill some of these guys just to get some points, and then. Uh, why? Okay, I thought it was I thought it was dead for some reason, and then. Oh well, then these guys a bit. That should give it. That should give me. This like this should give me the um ex, the next level up, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Level up. And then yeah, still go some ways to go to get to the next one. But yeah, if you play casually, or if you just and like ignore all these extra, all this extra stuff. You can use the move you, you just learned if you can change. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, just it's just about the longer combo you got you got earlier. Um, yeah, if you just play casually and just don't and just don't play any of these uh, side missions, you're probably gonna get your final level up around the time you reach Eggman Land. Um, so it's gonna be interesting. Where, like, when we'll like fully level up for this playthrough? Okay, that should be everything. Okay, yeah. Uh, now we can just go to the Gaia Gate and see and see the uh, secret door areas. I I don't know if it's just going to be that one or if the others were going uh, any of the others will be unlocked too. Okay. Yeah, you can you can see if, if it's like colored. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just this one it seems. So yeah, if you you go through here, um, and you enter like this small little puzzle like puzzle room, and there's like three to four of these in each continent, um, and it just house a bunch of like puzzles and items and whatnot. Um, and it's a, I, I really enjoy this because it gives you an incentive to look for the medals, um, and or not look for the medals. You, uh, you, um, the, the medals are rewards for completing stages in this version. But yeah, it it makes you want to um, um, get them, get better ranks for it, and yeah, it just conveniently tells you when you get everything, and. Again, it's just a nice little bonus. You don't ever have to do this stuff, but um, it feels rewarding. I like the satisfaction of like getting enough medals to go through another one of these doors. is is nice, and you get like a new like what would you, you you get to mess around with new puzzles and uh, whatnot, and. Yeah, it's pr it's one of the best additions to the to this version, I think. Um, I really wish the HD one had something like this. Um, so I, I so again, I will admit that 
the Wii version handled the, the medals better, because they are entirely optional, you never have to use them for, pro for progression. But, yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, I will see you guys in the HD version for that uh, version's Abyssos side content.